this is Ben. So tell me about being her boy. Uh, well, I've only been in the post for, well, not very long really, a few weeks, um, but I've already noticed the amount of work involved. Uh, things are quite stressful to begin with. There's a lot thrown at you, um, but hopefully um, when I have my senior prefect team, then things will get a lot easier. Um, but so far, it's been mainly admin and that sort of thing. Can you tell us about the application process? Um, first, uh, we needed to write a letter of application to the headmaster. Um, and uh, from there, if we were selected, uh, there were four of us that were selected from there, um, we went to an interview day, whereby in the morning we had a team building exercise with Dr. Derrett. Um, then we had a gap, and then that was followed by a meeting with the headmaster of about 40 minutes. Uh, and then we had another interview with Dr. Everett for another 40 minutes. So it was quite a long day. Um, and then after that, we, uh, we found out and we were told. And what do you think you can bring to the school? I like to think that hopefully over the course of the next year um, I can bring a bit of consistency to the prefect teams. Um, this year it's been quite scatty um, and appears to be quite unorganised so it would be nice to, um, nice to bring co some consistency to the teams uh, and hopefully just, well my aim is to do a good job this year really. And can you tell us about the life in the sixth form? Sixth form life is good, it's very different to the younger years. Um, I think one of the main things um, is probably the freedom you have. Uh, obviously you only take four subjects, which means there's quite a lot of frees and studies that you have. But I think the key to that is using them wisely. Make sure you're, you're revising or you're doing what you need to do um, and not be messing about really. Um, also we've got the sixth form common room as well, um, <clears throat> which again um, just shows the amount of freedom we have. And of course we've got our own um, cafe up there as well, which is, which is good. And do they all act the same? <laughs> no, everyone's pretty different. Um, obviously we've got external students as well, so we've got people coming in from, um, uh, from other schools. Some of them are quite interesting, um, but uh, no, they've been accepted within the year, uh, definitely. Um, you, you do definitely have a mix of boys. Uh, some are very academic based, they really want to go and get the good grades. Um, others are a bit more relaxed and they want to go for the extracurricular appro approach but um, most sort of want to go for, uh, in between, try and get that balance right I suppose but um, no, sixth form life is, uh, is pretty good actually. And what are the extra activities that you do? Um, well, over the course of the last few years uh, I've been involved in sport. Um, I like my cricket, uh, I was a member of the first team cricket uh, side um, for the past few years but uh, I've also gone to taking up the whistle with rugby I'm a rugby referee um, something I really enjoy um, and also gives another perspective to the game which is something I find quite enjoyable um, but also I like to sort of take a bit of a different approach as well uh, last year I was involved in Sweeney Todd the musical um, <clears throat> which again um, a little bit different um, and uh, it was a really good cast really good fun and I'd recommend it to anyone that wanted to, to progress with that and what's inspired you to become a rugby player? Well, I started playing in year seven and eight. Um, and then, because uh, I mentioned cricket was my main sport, my cricket started to take over a little bit. And uh, I had to uh, hang the boots up, as it were, with regards to rugby. Um, but then when I got a bit more free time towards the end of... Um, towards the end of the year, um, I started to think, actually, I want to be involved in the game again. Um, but I was aware that, actually, uh, the first and second teams are very established, they've got the players they need, so I thought um, why not, why not uh, take up the whistle and give refereeing a shot. And actually I'm pleased I did because, um, because well, it's great fun and it gives a good sense of satisfaction as well. And what role did you play in Sweeney Todd's? I, um, I had quite a difficult role actually, um, obviously there's a singing to begin with, um, but I played uh, an Irish barber who was pretending to be Italian. So it really was a bit of a test for the linguistic skills, um, but hopefully I pulled it off. Um, but basically the aim of the character is to be quite flamboyant. His name's Pirelli, um, and he's got, to be, um, he's got to be the villain out of everyone there. Um, so yeah, uh, I played him, and uh, over the course of four nights we, uh, we tackled through, and I hope um, most people agree that we put on a good performance. And can you give us a quick impression? Ah... Uh, uh, yes, okay. Um, 
Pirelli's accent. It's more like this. You've got to talk constantly in this way. Um, and I think that that was probably the most difficult thing that we had to we had to tackle was probably the um, the language barrier uh, when I was speaking. And I think some of the staff would agree um, with that. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.